Welcome to the Windows and Computer channel and as we go through the different settings into the Settings app in Windows 10, we're going to talk about typing because that's something we do a lot when we have a computer. So if you go into your Settings app, either by the Quick Actions and click All Settings or into the Start menu and the Settings gear, you go into Devices, you go into typing. So what are the options that are offered here in typing? First, it has to do with spelling. There's the autocorrect of misspelled words that you can turn on or off. Mine is off because it gets annoying when you actually, you know, it, it's actually nice if you are on one language, but sometimes it's very annoying. In my case, I will type in English and French, which means that sometimes it's trying to correct stuff in the wrong language and it gets so annoying that you just turn it off and sometimes you just don't want it to be uh, you know autocorrecting there's the other option which is I like misspelled words that I keep on because I like the fact you know I might not want it to autocorrect for me because it's not always what I want but I might want to have highlighted all the words that I don't spell correctly and that is something that I like. Now, if you don't want to have that, you can turn it off also. Typing. There's uh, some typing suggestions here. First of all, show text suggestions as I type on the software keyboard. So if you actually use the on-screen keyboard, if you want, or software keyboard that's available, it can actually give you suggestions of what to type next. A little bit like your smartphone. We'll try to suggest to you what word you might want to use next to make things faster. Add a space after I choose a text suggestion and add a period after I double tap the space bar. And of course, this depends on what you want to do. And this has to do with software keyboard mostly. How AI has helped you. Typing Insights. So there's an option called Typing Insights. And here we have Windows that uses AI to help you type and try to have you or help you out in suggestions. It's trying in reality to um, know what you might want to type next. And of course, you've got all the options of autocomplete, suggested keystrokes, spelling corrections, swipe words, and so on. Once again, this has to do with the software keyboard and not the hardware keyboard. Hardware keyboard, which is the physical keyboard that you use. So here you have show text suggestions on I type. So these are available. You can actually use that. And there's autocorrect misspell words as I type. That's also available with the physical keyboard if you want. Multilingual text suggestions. Now, if you have more than one language when you're typing, you might want to turn this on. It will not only recognize languages, but it will help you give the correct words depending on the language you're typing. I don't like to use much of these because very often it's not what I want. But, you know, turning it on might actually be uh, interesting. And actually, I'll be, you know, I haven't used these options in Windows 10 in a while. Maybe they're much improved and maybe I should actually uh, take the time to now uh, have this turned on. So uh, that could be interesting to look at. Then you have keyboard settings. Make my keyboard focus easier to see. So if you click here, you will have these options of mouse pointer size and so on. So this, of course, we will also see in a different settings app. And uh, you also have advanced keyboard settings. These bring you to the type of keyboard you're using. A lot of people have different types of keyboards. For example, here, if I click, I've got French, uh, Canada, French, English, United States, and so on. And you can add and uh, remove some of these uh, languages as you are using your computer. Uh, once again, we'll be looking at how to switch all of that. You've got switching input methods. So let me use a different input method for each app window and use the desktop language bar when it's available uh, for options. There's language bar options, and we'll look at the language stuff in a different panel also because there's a lot more to this than just the information here. 
And finally, emoji panel. Don't close the panel automatically after an emoji has been entered if you use emojis. So these are the options that are available to you here. We'll be looking, like I said, in more detail as of the, uh, the options here uh, in uh, future videos if you want to have really uh, highlight, a precise highlight of how all of this works, actually. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thanks for watching.